Hey guitar buddies, let's take a look at Dr. Feelgood, my buddy buddy friends. <laughs> Okay, so that's the main riff, and um, we start on a G. Just play the G power chord. And then I'm playing C, D, F, C, D, G. So on the A string, three, five, then three on the D string. And then three, five, five. So three on the A string, three on the D string, five on the D string. So we've got C, D, F, C, D, G. Okay. And then we move that up. So just play the exact same thing, but now just moving it all one string down, starting on the A string. So now we've got on the D and G strings. So it's a C chord, just a power chord. Back to the G. Then move it to the D position. So the same again. So now we've got five, seven, five, five, seven, seven. Back to C. Then G. And stop on G. And then we've got next a uh, little bridge section. Okay, so there I'm playing a C chord, just the top four strings. So da And just holding the chord and muting the strings. It's all very scratchy and rough. Then just barring across the 10th fret with my third finger to get an F6 chord. Then back to C. Then G. Then doing the same bar on five, 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 five. Gives us a C6. Back to G. Back to C. Then a D. And then we're back into our main riff. And next we'll take a look at the fantastic guitar solo. Great solo there, some classic rock and roll riffs in there. So we start with, just before the solo kicks in, there's a little beat gap in the music, we stop and we play a C and an E, bending and just slightly and releasing. So five and five on the G and B strings. And then, boom, the beat kicks in, and we play eight of those. Okay, and then we swap to a classic kind of Chuck Berry style riff. Uh, so I'm playing a C, okay, and then a D and a G. So I'm bending the C on five on the G string. And then playing a double stop on the third fret of the B of the E strings. And, and I play that and it just kind of accelerates. So. And then when we shift to the C chord, we've got this next lick. So I'm playing B flat, A, G as a pull off. 
and then a D on the third fret of the B string. So six, five, three, three. And then a pull off from F to E to D on the B string, six, five, three. And then landing on C, the fifth fret of the G string. And then I'm pulling off from a D flat on six to C on five to B flat on the G string to an open G. And then I'm also picking the G afterwards to make it kind of sound quite fast. And then a B flat and a C. So. And then I play that again, but this time I play after the B flat, I go to a, a bend. So I go. So then I'm playing a bend that we started with. B flat, C, B flat, G. Three, five, three, five. And then a hammer from B flat to B. Three to four, and then double stops on D and G. And then we got a lick again, this time starting on the F, so on the B string, six, five, three, then five on the G string, then six, five, three, open, five, then a B flat. Then with a slight bend. So then G F D. Then move it down to the um, first position, and we've got C B flat G B flat three one three one three. And on that last C, we bend it. And we keep just repeating that bend. And then it speeds up and we just keep round. So just round. So same note, just faster. And then we land at the end of the song, at the end of, of the solo, sorry, on a G on the third fret. And that slides up and we're back into the song. So it's a great fun song, great solo there and um, really fun one to play. So enjoy Dr. Feelgood. Thanks buddies. <laughs>